Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In this video we're going to talk about website backups, why they're important, and how to do website backups yourself on your website. So a website backup is essentially a stored copy of your site's files and information, and it can be used to recreate the website in case there's a problem um, or if your original site stops working. A website backup is like an insurance plan for your website, enables you to maintain your customer, cu company's online presence even if something happens to your original website. Whether your site is hacked or infected with the virus, or an integral file is accidentally deleted, your server crashes, any kind of update that goes wrong, you'll be able to get your site up and running again quickly with the backup. With Ida backup, your site might be lost forever, or at least a really old version of your site might be um, might be the only version that you have. Worst case scenario that is that your site will need to be recreated from scratch. And that's definitely a situation that you want to avoid. When it comes to how to do your website backup, it really tr it truly depends on the platform that your uh, website provider is uh, that your website is hosted on, um, or the platform that's used to create your website. Um, websites typically uh, the 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 way websites are backed up is through your hosting provider. So that is the most common way that websites are backed up. Some providers will do this automatically as part of the services, whereas some providers will do this um, as an additional fee. So it's really advisable that you check what's included in your, in your package and that you ensure your backups are regular enough to kind of meet your needs. Um, so for example, uh, Bluehost is a really popular web hosting provider specifically for WordPress, but they also host other kinds of websites as well. Um, a lot of their plans do feature a daily website backup as part of their security features. Um, so um, that's one example of a good kind of hosting provider that will kind of provide that. Um, other hosting providers that provide um, daily backups are uh, GoDaddy, if you're hosted with GoDaddy, um, SiteGround and Cloudways as well will we'll do uh, website backups as well. Um, if you are hosted on a Wix platform, Currently with Wix, it's not possible to back up your site externally, but Wix is committed to kind of ensuring that the safety of your site and they do have a site history feature. So with site history, um, you can essentially, uh, it essentially automatically creates site revisions every time you save or publish. And that means you can go back to a previous version of your site at any time you want. You can also duplicate your site at any time to create a manual backup in your Wix account. But be aware that the duplicated site isn't automatically updated when you update your original site. Um, but Wix do take care of their backups for you in terms of their constant revision features, so um, something to kind of worry about there. If you're on a WordPress platform, then you can either uh, stick with your website backups um, done by your hosting provider. So if they do daily backups, weekly backups, you can always stick to that. Um, however, you can also take manual backups using different plugins um, that are free and it allows you to then uh, have a backup of your site. It just means then if you're ever making any changes to your site, um, you can always make a backup of it before making those changes and that way you have a very up-to-date uh, version of your site instead of um, an older version of your site. So maybe if they're, if your hosting provider only backs up once a week um, on a Monday but then you may want to make changes on a Thursday um, in between Monday and Thursday if you ever needed to back up to the Monday's version then you kind of lose that data between Monday and Thursday. So it's really important that you have the ability to kind of make manual backups yourself. So to do that, what you want to do is not lo log into your WordPress dashboard and you want to go into plugins and you want to click add new. And you're looking for the updraft plugin. So updraft, if you type it into the um, plugins page here and you're looking for updraft, updraft WordPress backup plugin and you want to click on activate. So updraft is free. And it's, um, they do have a premium version that has a little bit more features, but for it, in its most basic form, it's still very, very useful. So with Updraft, you can back up and you can also restore the backups as well directly from the Updraft dashboard. So when you're ready to take a backup, what you want to do is go into Settings and you want to go into Updraft Backups. And you can see, uh, essentially, this is your backups uh, settings here. Um, it'll show you the next schedule backup and you can sort of tweak that if you wanted to do a backup every day or backup every week. It'll give you a last log message, so the last time you um, backed up your site and it'll also show you any existing backups that you have. Obviously when you first download the plugin and activate it you won't have any backups but as you make more and more backups they will um, kind of store up here um, and it's up to you if you want to delete them after a while um, or just have them there but you do have the option to kind of do all that as well. 
So to make a backup of your site, what you want to do is click on this backup now button and you want to make sure that you include your database, you include your files um, and you can decide if you want this backup to be deleted manually, if you're okay with it being, being deleted automatically after a certain days. And then once you're done, you just click backup now and it's just starting the request, starting the request of the backup and you can see the backup sort of being created here and it gives you sort of an uh, estimate on how long it's going to take but essentially all of the backups is going to be made now and then you just wait for that to finish um, and it'll be saved on your computer as well. Once your backup is done, then you can see sort of the glass log message, everything's been succeeded and you can see the recent backup up here now. So then you can go on and do everything that you need to do to your site. If you want to make updates to your plugins, make any updates to your site. And if anything does go wrong, what you can do then is go back to this updraft uh, dashboard here. And then you want to look for the plugin that the look for the backup that you want to backup uh, that you want to restore, which is the most latest one. And you just want to click on restore and that'll restore your site back to the old backup. So um, it's a really good plugin because you can then restore within uh, the, the site yourself. You don't need to download it and restore it through your server or anything like that. Um, what you can do is also schedule uh, b backups. Um, uh, if you want to do it every hour, every two hours, things like that, daily. And then what you can also do is decide if you want those backups to be stored to a remote location, whether that's uh, via FTP on your uh, web server, um, to by email, Dropbox, anything like that. Um, and then you can just save that as well. So it's a really flexible plugin. With the premium one, um, you can see if you click on this tab here, you can see all the features that you get with the um, premium backup, uh, with the premium updraft. But the even um, as mentioned before, even like the with the free version, you still get a lot out of it. And if your if your site hosting provider also um, does the daily backups, then you don't really need much more than being able to backup yourself whenever you need to. When it comes to website be uh, backup best practice, you want to make sure that you're backing up regularly. If you're updating your site frequently, you should be backing up your site frequently too. So if you only back up occasionally and something happens, you may lose a lot of data like new blog posts, page edits, orders, things like that when you revert back to the most recent backup. And you want to use different locations. So ideally, you should have three versions of your site, the live site, a local backup, um, and another backup in a different location, either off-site or in the cloud. And this will ensure that even if one of the backup fails, you still have other backup versions available. Um, and you want to make sure your backups are dated. So with the Updraft plugin, you kind of see that anyway. Um, it automatically backs up the, the, it automatically labels the backup with the day and time it was made. It just makes it easier for you to find the most recent one. And you want to make sure that the backup itself, um, you check them and make sure that the, they're definitely seated and you can, succeeded. And you can see that in the log messages as well. Again, you also want to check with your hosting provider what kind of backing up service that they offer, if it's already included with your plan. If it's already included with your plan, you want to see how frequently. And if it's not included with your plan, you want to see how much it would be to kind of get that added um, because it would be good anyway. And you also want to make sure how long they keep that backup. Sometimes they'll keep it for 90 days. Um, sometimes they'll keep it for 30 days. So you want to make sure that they're keeping it for as long as you need. You think you would need it for. Um, but that's really it. Once your backup is complete, then you can go ahead and make any, all the changes. Or if it's a general kind of a backup, then you at least always make sure that you the backup is succeeded and you have a up-to-date backup of your site before you make any changes or um, at least on a weekly basis.